What is up, my fellow hip hop heads and music lovers in general? My name is G Benz, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the third and final upload for today, the final review I got to do today. So let's get right to it. Uh, for the final upload, I'm going to be talking about the fourth studio album by the one and only Tinashe. And it is called Songs For You. Songs for all of us. Songs for her fans. Songs for probably the haters because she has shit to say to the haters too. And songs for anyone in the industry doubting her right now because this album, she definitely proved that she should not be doubted with and should not fuck with at all. So, Tinashe, um, she has been in a... She has been on a grind lately, pretty much. Um, for those of you that don't know, and I just like found this out today, I I, I don't know um, when when she did it, but you know, like Tinashe pretty much left her record label, I, and I completely forgot what the fucking record label was called. I think it's called like RCA, some shit like that. Um, but yeah, uh, Tinashe left her record label to be a full fucking independent artist under her own management um and in my opinion i think it is the best move that she could have ever fucking done in her life because holy shit is songs for you a fucking dope ass album um you know let me let me just say that tinashe came a very very long way from being you know the girl that you know produced fucking music in her bedroom and whatnot you know did that like bedroom like r&b sort of style you know to being to like being only 21 years old and having a major label debut studio album, you know, entitled entitled Aquarius, you know, that album I think came out when I was in like, when I was like, like a freshman or like a sophomore in high school. And I just, I, I remember just like, like hearing it and I was like, holy fuck, like this, this girl can fucking sing. Um, and so, you know, she had like i think maybe like two albums after that under this record label you know they they did pretty good but it's just i feel like the record label was like you know um was like keeping her from like pushing herself more and from like going outside the box and so that's when she decided you know what fuck it i'm gonna be independent i already have like experience with producing my own music and that's exactly what she did, you know. Not only is she like a talented singer, not only is she like a good songwriter, but she is really, really good at producing shit. Um, you know, uh, she produced this whole album, I believe. I believe it was just her. I don't, I don't know if she like um, had help from from somebody. But as far as as far as I know, Tinashe produced this whole album, and um, it, it turned out really well you know she now has her own like you know um studio built in her house and whatnot and you know she's just pretty much been grinding pretty much on the grind to rediscover herself on the grind to you know get her career back on track on the grind to you know uh pick up the pieces that where she left off back in the record label and she uh pretty much um has she she pretty much had a lot of time on her hand and had had a lot of time on her hand to like um to work on a like on a really really good album and to like pretty much give nothing but hers but her like um best work and and you can really tell you know she is she is not shy whatsoever on this on this album you know this this album has twice the sexy the sexy love songs twice the breakup songs and whatnot you know, twice her amazing vocals, you know, she's obviously been practicing. And I really, really, like, love her voice. She is one of the few, like, female singers that I, like, personally enjoy a lot. Um, and, you know, and you know, just just twice the great, like, old school, like, R&B production, you know what I mean? It's, it's, what I love, it's what I love about her, you know. She she is obviously a really big fan of, like, the old school, like, R&B sound. But she, like, also, like, has a little bit of, like, a modern taste to it, which is what I like about it. You know, it's, it's like, a mix of everything. And she also, like switches from like different genres in this album which is which is really really fucking cool you know like at some point he's doing r&b and then once she's doing like straight up pop and then you know a straight up like hip-hop vibe and whatnot so you know she is definitely like just just like experimenting with whatever it is she can work with and as far as i know like she can make anything sound good any kind of genre sound good um 
and you know there are there are also like some like acoustic sounds here you know not not only is there like a bit of that r&b flow a, a bit of that like like hip-hop sort of like r&b mixed together flow but it's, but like you know she also has like you know like at some points has like piano in the background and whatnot i think i heard a little bit of, a little bit of like guitar in here um it pretty much sounds like her old school like bedroom pop sort of like like albums when she was like really really underground um which which you know like I, i'm i'm actually happy that she um that she started going back to that you know going back to her roots you know going back to you know what she was doing that like got her so much attention in the first place um so yeah you know she she's she's really talented at producing you know this whole the, the whole production value on this album is really great uh her vocals are amazing as always like i said and, you know um just just like her flow of like you know how she's able to like to like you know go chill you know soft spoken you know you know like like a little bit of like a slow vibe and then go to like you know hardcore well, i wouldn't say hardcore but like you know but but, but like but like um <laughs> sorry I, I lost my train of thought but i'm pretty much like how she's able to go from like from like a slow vibe but to like a sort of like sort of fast paced like r&b style you know what i mean like like, like how she can, she can get like a, a little bit of aggressive and you know and she, and she doesn't shy away from the fact that um that no one has ever no one should have ever doubted her you know you know not a lot of people think that a woman can like make it on her own in, in the business without at least some help from like a label or, or like some help from like from like a man and you know the fact that she like produced this whole thing by herself and like you know and like you know she like is under her own management i think she's pretty doing good for herself i think uh this album is going to be the start of something beautiful for her music career and i, I can't wait to see where else she goes as, as an independent artist i think I think her becoming an independent artist is something that she like is is like the best decision she's ever made because now she has not now she can do whatever she wants you know you know there's no filter she can do whatever it is she wants with her stuff and I have no doubt that she will um like do something really good with her music career so yeah I'm excited for her I'm, I'm happy for her um I think Tinashe is gonna be um it's gonna be a force to reckon with. I think I agree with a lot of people when I say Tinashe is the future queen of R and B. So yeah, shout out to you, Queen. I think you were gonna fucking, I think you're gonna fucking kill it. And all these other people better watch out because I think she is like on, on her way to making a comeback real, real fucking soon. Um, so yeah, I think that's really that's really all I have to say for Tinashe and this album. Um, favorite song on the album is probably Touch and Go with Six Lack. Uh, that one is like a fucking is like a little like you know sexy sort of vibe and whatnot um but it, it's also like you, you know i i'm just i'm just a really like big fan of like old school r&b and you know that's that, that's that's the sort of vibe i got from this song and you know every song in here in general uh, but yeah touch and go with six like is my favorite song on this album so yeah shout out to you tinashe you did really really well i uh, can't wait for you to do something else uh so yeah with that being said i guess that's all i really had to say so uh thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed my review go ahead and follow me on instagram that below is always deep me for requests go ahead and follow tenashe on instagram that below her new album songs for you is out now go listen to it if you haven't already and with that being said don't forget to like subscribe click that bell down below all that good stuff so you don't miss a single one of my uploads whatsoever and don't forget to stay happy and as Eric Andre would say, Tinashe, where you at? Wish you would say something to make me change my mind. Got me feeling like somebody else.